So these videos will make you question everything. But remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. Let's check it out. We begin with that breaking headline today, a Michigan doctor sentenced being called a monster. A day of reckoning for the doctor who diagnosed hundreds of patients with cancer when they did not have it. Outside the court, the tears and anger. He lied to so many what patients, the? giving many of them extensive chemotherapy, which then made them sick. So many of those families today coming face to face with the doctor as he was sentenced to 45 years behind bars. And you're about to hear what the doctor said to those families. ABC's Ron Claiborne leads us off. What? Judgment day for the doctor who caused so much pain. Victims of Dr. Farid Fatah outside the courtroom where he was sentenced, hand in hand, then defiant. 45 years for the lives that he took. It just wasn't enough. In court, the 50-year-old doctor breaking down, saying, I misused my talents, yes, and permitted this sin to enter me because of power and greed. But those words, no comfort for Cheryl Blades. I could hear him talking to my mother because I went to every appointment so I could hear him talking to her oh and promising God. her to save her. In all, Fata pleaded guilty to intentionally misdiagnosing more than 550 patients, often prescribing treatment for cancer that they did not have. He earned more than $17 million as a result. Dr. Fata pounced on every opportunity to use a patient's body as a profit center. One of the patients, 53-year-old Monica Flagg. Stressful. It was extremely emotional. We begin with that breaking. 500. How does he not get a year for each patient or not longer? 553 patients? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I see why that lady said what she said. It wasn't enough. Bro, bro, this one hits me different. Y'all know I told y'all about me going through the cancer with my mom and her having it and how from a kid, I watched it eat her away slowly. Bro, who does that? And and no, 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 let's not stop there. Because if any of y'all ever been to any type of doctor, how do you pull this off without others being involved assisting you? We're talking about other doctors, texts, different things. We all know it's the doctor comes in and reads you and gives you and looks at you and everything else. But then the other doctors come in and they take you to get scans and different things like that. So were they all reading false information too? Like he couldn't pull this off by himself. Stop it. I am, sh bro, I, I'm shocked. I've never, ever, how, how does this even happen? How does this happen? Fam, second opinions. Third opinions, fourth opinions. Do not just get one opinion these days, bro. Like, you need multiple opinions these days, fam, in order to like I'm 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 beyond blown away by this. This is insane. Let's take a look at three world news headlines that are destined to make you say, Boy, I sure am glad I don't live there. Number one. Let's take a look at three world news headlines that are destined to make you say, boy, I sure am glad I don't live there. Number one, South Korea bans the consumption of dog meat. I gotta be honest, yeah, I didn't I've know we were still that. selling dog meat anywhere outside of third world countries, so this was news to me. On a much more serious note, coming in at number two, the country of Ecuador has been placed under a state of emergency as one of the world's most notorious drug lords has escaped from prison. Jose Aldolfo, better known as Spido, is the leader of the Los Choneros gang and was in the midst of serving a 34-year prison sentence in a maximum security facility. Spido is so dangerous, even a mandatory curfew has been set for all of Ecuador. Number 3. An Iranian woman is getting worldwide attention after receiving a 13-year prison sentence, an astronomical fine, and 74 lashes after not wearing her hijab in public. The woman was told if she did not agree with the laws inside of her country, she would need to find a new place to live. Let's take a look at three world... This is, I guess this is a way to put things back into perspective. You know what I mean? But the way I look at it is just overall, this is just a messed up place we live in collectively. Like overall, bro. You can say, oh, this thing, uh, you live where you live. But then we go back 
a few videos or a video ago and we hear about what that doctor was doing. Here are the top five tech headlines for January 31st. Big tech CEOs, including Mark Zuckerberg and TikTok CEO Sho Chu, are testifying before the U.S. Senate today on the issue of child safety online. You might not be able to add as many songs to your videos because Universal Music Group plans to stop licensing content to TikTok after their agreement expires today. There were a bunch of big earnings reports yesterday. Nothing major to report. Is 23andMe in danger of entering the tech Deadpool? And Figure AI is a startup building humanoid robots. Microsoft and OpenAI are weighing investing in them to the tune of $500 million. All this and more later today on today's Tech Meme Ride Home podcast. Search for... See, I feel like it's, it's a lot going on right now. And it's so much going on that there's no possible way they can keep up with it. They meaning our leaders. Paying attention to what's going on, man, in the background. You know what I mean? Earnings. I was paying attention to earnings the other day because I told y'all I trade. You know what I mean? So seeing... Um, some of these tech earnings and different things like that, man, and the market tanking and now Fed Powell talking about they may not cut interest rates, which I was hearing already. Yeah, yeah. Things may not be on the up and up for us, man. Plus us being involved in like three situations that are not our own. So they keep talking about war. Man, it's, it's too much going on. This news headline is a real estate agent's worst nightmare. Are you kidding me? Whenever I look Whoa. at homes and there's a deep freezer, I open it almost as like a joke. But now, that doesn't feel like a joke anymore. If this happened to you, are you keeping the house or are you selling? This news headline is a real estate... How do you... No, no, no. Go back to the article. Go back to the article. Human head and hands found in freezer at recently sold Colorado house. I, I don't know about y'all, but... That's grounds for them to uh, rip up that contract I just signed for and give me my money back. Yes, that should, I don't know what contractually y'all can do, but that should be a contract breaker right there, fam. Give me my money back now. That, no. <laughs> no, I was not intending on buying a house with this in the freezer. So take a look at this right here. NBC News, according to this report in USA Today, they are laying off or have laid off dozens of workers, and that's bad news for the U.S. workforce, but also bad news for journalism. USA, to, USA Today confirming the layoffs. This is a big deal. Less and less people are watching the mainstream media, NBC News being one of them. I left the mainstream media because I was just over it, and I could see this coming. Now, if all of you would like to support my independent journalism, Go to my bio, go to my bio, my profile here on TikTok and click the link that I have. It's called Substack. You can sign up to my newsletter absolutely free. But the news story happening right here is that NBC laying off lots of people. It's not the first media company to do so. Let me know what you think in the comments below and make sure you're following me right here on this platform. Here's my thing, right? First of all, I never want to see anybody lose their job ever. You know what I mean? I know what that feels like. And these bills just don't stop coming. And then you go to worrying. It's very, very stressful. Now, pushing that to the side, right? We had to see this coming. Kind of like he said, this, this has been, you know what I mean, brewing for a minute. These types of layoffs coming. Number one, people are tired of being lied to. People are tired of the chaos. You hear people complaining all the time. As soon as you turn on the news, it's like... All it is is just bickering back and forth, lying on this one and that one, and just complete chaos. That's what it is. And people are trying to find some other way to either one, get their information, and two, some type of peace and stress-free environment. And I'm sorry, but the news gives you stress these days. So, yeah. Yeah, so while y'all sitting here worrying about that fight that happened in Alabama, and y'all worried about that submarine titan ship and y'all worried about the trump trials and him getting indicted again russia and china got ships at our borders i repeat russia and china have ships literally sitting at our borders and y'all are worried about what's going on on social media what's going on with tory lanes what's going on with donald trump and getting indicted what's going on with the titan and in the meantime, China and Russia are literally 
are knocking on our doorsteps. Y'all didn't see this yesterday? There were 11 Chinese and Russian ships in a combined military effort at our borders of Alaska. If you didn't read the, if you didn't watch the, the, uh, the Congress meeting, the Congress hearing a few months ago, when they were talking about all this stuff happening, they said it was going to happen in the next five years. You don't think China and Russia watched that? Where they watched our senators literally say that they were outnumbered? Y'all need to start paying attention and paying attention now. Stop worrying about Donald Trump. Stop worrying about the Titan submarine. Stop worrying about all this BS and pay attention to what's really going on in the world and what's about to happen in our country. Yeah, man, I came across a, a video earlier and they were talking about, man, are y'all planning for it if anything or if something goes down? Do you have radios? Do you have batteries? Do you have candles? Do you have all of these survival supplies just in case you're without power or in a situation or something like that and all these type of things? That I'm like, what's about to go down? Like normally when you start seeing videos like this, something's about to happen. So I don't know. I'm just paying attention just like everybody else is trying to figure it out. This is that bridge. You guys see all over the news. They used to have thousands and thousands of migrants waiting under here to cross the border, right? Well, do you see any migrants now that the Texas National Guard has taken over this situation? Absolutely not is the answer. Wow. They are patrolling the hell out of it. We just traveled the entire border in and out. They are no longer coming across this border freely. Here we are again. I just wanted to show you all progress of our friends over here in the National Guard. This is that bridge. That's what's up. Now, the thing, the question is now is how long are you going to be able to keep them at that post to watch it with everything that's going on in the world? You know what I mean? Do we have res enough reserves to be able to do that and use them for whatever we may be facing in the coming future. Yo. Says massive flames were seen shooting into the air after fire officials said a gas pipeline exploded in a small town in Oklahoma's panhandle. Sheesh. That's not good. I don't even know where to begin with that one right there, bro. You know what I mean? And I used to work at a fire department, fam. After years of working on this issue with you and others, I've come to conclude the following. Social media companies, as they are currently designed and operate, are dangerous products. They're destroying lives, threatening democracy itself. These companies must be reined in or the worst is yet to come. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, you and the companies before us, I know you don't mean to, it to be so, but you have blood on your hands. You have a product. You have a product that's killing people. You don't say. The irony in that, though, don't. Yeah, just just ir ironic. When we had cigarettes killing people, we did some about it. Maybe not enough. You're going to talk about guns. We have the ATF. Nothing here. There's not a damn thing anybody can do about it. You can't be sued. After years of working on this, social media CEOs they have. What? Okay. All right, that's interesting coming from them, man. I just, I just think that's real, real interesting for them to say. That's all I'm gonna say about it, bro. The economy is now on an upswing, so much so that Republicans and even the former president are trying to take credit. After the Dow Jones and S&P hit record highs last week, Donald Trump deployed a spin job for the ages, calling it the Trump stock market. You can't make that up. Four years ago, Donald Trump predicted the stock market would crash if he lost the election. Well, Donald Trump did.
did lose the election. But today, the stock market is setting record highs. It's both laughable and very telling that Donald Trump is trying to take credit for the successes of President Biden and the congressional Democrats. Donald Trump knows his disastrous and chaotic record can't stand crew scrutiny against the jobs, increased wages, and investments secured by Democrats. The economy is now on an upswing. So much so that the economy is not on an upswing. <laughs> what do y'all mean? Inflation is still above their goal. You know what I mean? Interest rates are still high. What economy are we looking at? Somebody please tell me. Which one are we, are, are we all looking at the same one? Because if I'm still not mistaken, uh, prices are still high as giraffe necks at the grocery store, right? You know what I want to say, but yeah, prices are still pretty high. Interest rates, boy, you buy a house, you, you, you buy one for the price of two these days with the interest rate, correct? What about that screams a good economy to me? Nothing, none of that. So, yeah, yeah, we're hitting all-time highs at the S&P, but look what we're getting ready to go into. February, March, those critical months of the year. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. Pullback is coming. A crash? I don't see a crash in it right now, but the situations that the world could dictate otherwise, so I don't know. I don't even like my husband enough to be out here looking for his cheating. I'm happy he gone. This the longest breakout I've ever had since we got married. He's controlling. I'm excited that he's missing. And then the police and y'all telling me I got to sit here and do a news interview asking for help. I don't want help. I like that he's missing. I don't want him to come home. But I don't want y'all, you know, when the cameras start and stuff, I cry a little bit and act like I miss him, but I don't I don't want the police thinking I had something to do with it because I don't care, but I'm I'm tired of him. You get what I'm saying? Listen, I already don't went to jail for holding my last boyfriend captive, but he deserved it. Exactly. So with my husband missing, they really gonna think it's me. I ain't did nothing. So whenever you ready, I'm ready. Ready? Anybody has seen my husband, please. <laughs> I don't cry so much, my tears won't even start falling out my eyes. <laughs> Baby, if you listening to this, if you hear this from anywhere, please come home, y'all. Please let my man free. I love my husband and I need my... I heard somebody say it's live. This live? It's been live the whole time. I don't even like my husband. Yo, this gotta be a skit. Cause if this was real, bro, oh my god, this is this is definitely a skit, right? <laughs> this gotta be a skit. This is a skit. Yeah, yeah, for entertainment purposes only. This is a skit. Uh, Cause what's the name of that movie, right? Remember the movie? Because that's what type of type of vibes this was giving me, man. Um, Gone Girl. Giving me Gone Girl vibes. Y'all remember that movie? Yeah, that's what this was doing for me. Right there. Yeah, no. This gotta be a skit, yeah. She makes skits, gotta be. This is crazy. All right, so a psychic went on Fox News to predict Trump's 2024, and you guys gotta see this. Let's do just one card. We like that one. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> What is that? I, I mean, I, I, I do recognize that I'm at, I'm at Fox TV. I, I'm <laughs> a sense of loss. A sense of loss. But it, it's very oh. specific. No, 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 no let, let, let me move on. All right, so a psychic one. So they're doing ter <laughs> And you wonder why people are no longer tuning in, right? Y'all are doing live tarot readings. Tarot card readings live on the news. This was Fox News. This is what y'all are doing these days. Is Are these comedy skits? Are y'all doing comedy skits nowadays? Are y'all SNL? What's going on? Are you And you wonder why? Yo, I'm, I'm done, man. <laughs> I'm done for the day, bro. I, I can't. I cannot believe I just witnessed that and saw that. Oh, my gosh, bro. Again. What do other countries see when they look at us, bro? Chaos, humor, 
craziness. Like, this, this is bad, bro. This is bad even for us, man. Listen, y'all get at me in the comment section. Until next one, I'm gone.